Okay, hey, we're, we're some of the first people to go see the butterfly. Biosphere here at Thanksgiving Point. So, let's go, Jake. Come on. Yeah. Still kind of under construction. I don't know what species they're going to have, but I imagine they're going to have monarchs. Today it's free. Look, check this out. Not, not butterflies, but yeah, it's not butterflies. You know what's cool about this is that when you are really close to something, if you are too close, then you really don't know what you're looking at. But if you'll just take the time to step back and slow down and enjoy nature, you soon find something glorious, just like this. Isn't that beautiful? There's hardly anyone in line. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, look at that larva. This is huge. This is a giant. Wow. So, you guys, be careful. It just could pupate at any time. Come look. All right. Look at this. I've always wanted to be inside a pupa. <laughs> there we go. Can you That's fit? It. That's all I can do. <laughs> Spider inside the pupa? <laughs> okay, so you've been in there for a while and now you're ready to emerge as a beautiful butterfly. Takes a little bit of effort. And then, ta -da! Check out those scales, Jake. Mm-hmm. Up adopter. Very nice. This essentially is giving you like a, a view that you'd see with a electron microscope. Whoa! Check this out. Look, you got a Hercules beetle in there, right back there. It's a real one. See that? It's eating some fruit. It's a giant African millipede. That guy's Look at it, it's moving right there. Let's go back just a little bit and get down right here. Look at that. That is the coolest. This is orthoctrin. It's a Katie did. And it's it's moving its wings. Making its little chirping noises. But we can't hear it because it's inside, but that is neat, huh? It feels like the tropics in here. I mean seriously, it's warm and humid. Because that's where they that's where they live, right? Naturally these live in the tropics. Wow. Looks like that drawn a hibiscus. Yeah. Gotta get some nectar. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. See that right there, What a wonderful butterfly. Whoa, we got some mist. Okay, it's raining in the rainforest. Here we go. Probably coming right by us, Jake. Close up here. <laughs> Look at that. We're in the sweet spot right here. Pretty, that's for sure. I like having a whole bunch over there. Just don't trip on this.
so how many species do you guys work with? Um, we've gotten a total of 76 species, like novel species, but most species it's about 60. Yeah. Wow. Man, that's wonderful. You guys are doing a incredible job here. Yeah. So um, every week we get about a thousand butterflies shipped to us in the form of the chrysalis, uh, which is the phase where they're going through a metamorphosis, changing from caterpillar into a butterfly. Um, about 75% of the species come from uh, small farms in Costa Rica, and then the other 25% are coming from um, small farms in Asia and Africa through a different supplier. Um, so we're getting our shipments on Thursdays and Fridays if you ever want to see us, you know, actually gluing them up to the wood rods. Um, and I'd say we release between 100 and 200 butterflies every day. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, so hopefully in the conservatory um, there's anywhere between 800 and 1200 butterflies flying around it at any point. Um, we've gotten about 75 unique species so far, um, but most weeks we get about 60 species shipped to us. So the, the majority of those are the blue morphos, which are these green ones on the top. As well as the owl butterflies, we get three species of owl butterflies, and that's going to be these really large chrysalises, the caligos. Uh, and then basically whatever else they have in stock, they just fill the remainder of our shipment with whatever other species they have. Um, so everybody on these top sections were shipped in on Thursday and Friday of this week. Uh, I love how you have different sizes yeah. of butterflies so yes. people can really enjoy, mm -hmm. you know, the uh, obscure, mm -hmm. you know, you can see, you see the big ones, yeah. but I've really enjoyed looking at some of the smaller uh -huh. uh, species of butterflies. Yeah, I think our smaller species are going to be the glass wings, and that's the Greta uh, Odos. So those are the tiniest. I don't know if you can see those. They look like uh -huh. a little drop of they glass. They just gold. beautiful. <laughs> so I think that's the tiniest oh. species that we get. Definitely have to create a different environment. Yes. It's so not like you could just use air from mm -hmm. the outside. Yeah, so these are um, at 80% humidity. So we've oh. got a fogger running and it's on a heat and humidity thermostat. Wow. Um, so anytime it drops, you know, like two units below what it's supposed to be at, it kicks in um, and starts to heat up or, or start up the humidity. Because yeah. um, again, they're a tropical species, so we are keeping it at a tropical setting. So what training have you had with, uh, with butterflies? Uh, actually, not a lot with butterflies, um, but in, in vertebrates in general. So I have a degree in entomology from the University of Florida, just a bachelor's. Um, and then I've been an animal kingdom, sorry, an animal keeper at Animal Kingdom uh -huh. uh, at Disney in Orlando for about five years, um, working with reptiles, amphibians, fish, and invertebrates, which was my specialty. So um, I've worked with a wide variety of arachnids um, and insects. So I all have, the butterfly wow. stuff is pretty You got a great job. Yes, <laughs> yes. I'll job. never stop learning. There's always new species for me to work with and get to know. Um, so we do track the numbers, everybody that's released every day, everybody that's, you know, passed away from the mm -hmm. day, um, what hasn't emerged properly. So um, we use that data to, do we need to tweak the chamber environment? Do we need to treat, uh, tweak the greenhouse environment? Are these just not species that do well with us? That happens. There are some zoos that are great at breeding and keeping certain species in mm -hmm. bug, and other zoos that just can't, no matter how many times they try. So. You do know that you're going to have an awful lot of people that are going to be coming here? Yeah, okay. yeah. We're very <laughs> excited so you know. about that. Yes. <laughs> We're trying to entice them here with the butterflies to, and then get them to see the other invertebrates that we have on exhibit. Oh my so, goodness. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've been teaching for 29 years and I've been hoping something like this would come to our area. Mm -hmm. Our students are going to flood into here. Awesome. It is so exciting. Yeah. I, I would think of this as a success if, you know, when little kids are thinking, oh, I want to be a doctor, I want to be a firefighter, I want to be an entomologist, because I, like, I want that to be mm -hmm. well, a, a typical career. <laughs> it's happening. I get uh, young ladies and young men who come to me on a regular basis and say, I want to be an entomologist. Awesome. So, awesome. That's so good to hear. This is really, really cool. Yeah. I did not know it was a career when I was going to school. I just happened to stumble into it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, that's what happens a lot of time is you start to learn about these creatures and it just becomes a passion. Mm -hmm. That's the ball that just keeps rolling. Yeah, well, thanks so much for taking time. And what was your You're name welcome. again? Marissa. Marissa, thanks for what you do. 
and nice taking some you. time to, to talk to me. A lot of different species. Very common. There's something about Lepidopsis that everyone can relate to. Yeah, it looks like one came on Jake. Let's see what you got there, Jake. That's a beauty. Look, at, and it's uh, using its proboscis there, looking for like something to <laughs> to eat on your hand, and it's not going to find it, is it? Look at look at this uh, this little black one too. Oh, don't don't move. Don't move. Right. That we're getting a special treat right here, aren't we? Let's just let it sit there and enjoy. Let's just enjoy the the opportunity to watch it feed. They look different. That one has a straight yellow. Look at this little black one though that's flopped lying around this with some red on it. I really like that. That's pretty. We can see it's proboscis just dipping in and getting some nectar. Are you having a good time? Oh, there's one on your neck. Oh my gosh, turn around. This one right here looks like it just emerged from this pupa too because it still has some, um, some hemolymph that needs to move into its wings. His head has, yeah. His head has spots on it. Yeah, it looks similar to a monarch, um, the way those little spots are on the thorax and on the yeah. head. I don't want to like bend my head back. Cause... It's okay. You you won't hurt it. Because you're walking around just okay, really here. slowly. Let me see. Oh, he's now on your, your neck, going up towards your ear. That's okay. You, you got a friend. Oh, look at Ollie. Don't move, Ollie. Oh, they really were on you for a sec there, bud. Wow, we got a lot flying right through here right now. Look at that. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? They look their wings. Yeah. But we've really had a good time here at the Thanksgiving Point uh, Butterfly Biosphere. You gotta come see it. I mean, it's definitely worth your time. It's gonna be warm and humid. Let's take a look at this last butterfly here. Right there, Jake. What a beauty. One of the smaller species, clear wing. Just uh, a must see in Utah Valley. Hope you can make it soon. Bye. Mr. G, out.